new generator. It's a Predator. We got it from Harbor Freight. Yeah, it was one of the least expensive models we could find. It's a 8750 max, 7000 just running. And we went ahead and did the burn-in period where we ran it for about three hours. The instructions say two, and meaning the US CARP instructions for the converter right here said suggested two hours and the other instructions from Harbor Freight for the Predator engine said three so we ran it for about three and now you can see here we just took off the air filter here down here they had a couple of screws one on the inside one around in the back right back here and then this other one off to the side so we just got done pulling those off and you can pull off the air filter pretty easily and then you can see here's the here's the carburetor and choke we have it open right now per the instructions and as we were playing with it a little bit a little uh, tube came off here so that's fine because we'll end up having to based on the instru instructions look like we'll have to cut that one as well so that's where we are now and we're just about to place on here if you look at the instructions I think it keeps it pretty clear but the uh, you want the tapered part, the part with the venturi the, and the holes uh, here to come on the out, pointing out. And you can just set it on here. It doesn't, you'll lose, it'll fall off if you're not careful. So they come with these extensions right here. And we'll go ahead and put these on. Okay, now with the, we've got the extensions on. They're in there pretty good. We've got the, oh, thank you. Uh, the sides right here. Um, put it like that, uh -huh. uh, and have this facing down. Ah, yeah, that's a good way to remember it. And they should just slide on. So you to see the extensions now, and now we'll look to put on back on the air filter. We want to make sure, again, following the instructions, there's the, the the sealant in here. So we need to do that and attach it. In another video we saw, they they also suggest you go ahead and put the the tube on because it can be tough, and you're going to put the the actual converter here um, we have the intake for your alternate fuel and so you want we'll put this we'll put this in here and mount it on the frame and so we'll, we'll do that so we're gonna put the pipe sealant on uh, we uh, took the, uh, you see you see the part that uh, he's screwing on uh, we took that out and put on some sealant on that and now we're gonna put it on to the generator all right. Okay, um. So we've got it done. We put the hose on. We're gonna slide it back over. Let's get it in there. Should slide in pretty well in there. All right. So we've got this ready, and it'll be ready to to wrap around and, and put in there later. So we'll go ahead and put back on the filter, air filter at this time. Okay, we get ready to make sure we add the gasket to avoid the vacuum leaks that they talk about. So now that we've got that on, we've got the other one. We didn't touch the one that was on there previously. This is the one that came with the kit. So we've just put that on there, and now we're going to tighten everything up. We've also done the check. We've installed it with the choke open, but it looks like it's moving fine, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so we've got these extensions on, and the problem is it'll, it'll butt up against the the rod here so I don't want to cut the rod if I don't have to it doesn't have any physical impact on the structure from what I hear but I don't want to I prefer not to cut if I don't have to so I'm here's the latest trick I'm trying to just shimmy it on somehow and I think I'll be able to do it like this and then swing it around pop it up a little bit um, We'll see if we'll be able to swill it around and get it in. And if so, this might be another option for people trying to get this on without having to cut. All right, looks like we ran into a snag with our great plan. It looks like now the extension out here, you'll see it goes too far. So this normally will fit flush up against here. It'll fit in nice and snug in there. But now it won't, uh, so we need to cut down this extension or not use the extension. All right, we ended up having to saw off the end of that extension bolt so we could uh, get it on so we can see if we the air filter will fit better. So now we're going to see if. Our 
By cutting off that extension um, bolt there, I was able to get the air filter on. It's a little tight up here. That worries me. I don't know if, when it's going to jostle when the engine when the motor's running. If it'll uh, at all impact right up here where we've got the that little converter on the for the carburetor. Uh, we shall see. But now this is this is looks a little tight, and now I'm going to go ahead and and cut off. Um, what we had uh, set up here for that uh, the crankcase vent hose that goes from there, filter there to the up over there. Now we'll hook it back up, um, see if it'll work. It might not be long, quite long enough, but we'll see. It should hook up here and then just latch it over there. I need to do a little more extension. All right, the crankcase vent hose extension did not work very well because it doesn't reach like that. So I went and bought at Lowe's. It's a just some. It was an air hose, actually. It had a, enough 300 psi and 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was a 3/8 inch ID. And so I'm able to then just hook that one up here and uh, I'll just rig this one up so and it ended up being uh, matching so that that will be a uh, has got some aesthetic appeal too so that'll have to work the short bolts and long bolts that came with the kit neither worked with I think it's a three-quarter inch um, roll bar there and so the small ones there did not work and neither did the longer ones that came with the, the kit so I had to go to Lowe's and bought some some shorter ones I think they were one and one and three quarters I want to say and was able to use those instead and now it's secured uh, fairly tight and did it close like the instruction said did it close to the carburetor so I'll be able to connect that in easily all right, so I just applied some paste to both the three quarter, three eighths, and one quarter end side, and the directions also say put paste along the the, the nipple here, and then I tightened up the clamp on one side, so I'll I'll put paste here and sealant and tighten this up, and then this will actually will be a pretty good position I think because we'll keep it here, and then it'll be really fairly close. In fact, I might have to pull it out just a little bit to give it a little more a little distance so it should fit in there nicely and snug. I just dug under here a little bit with a screwdriver and then I was able to work this out and just pop out that cap. So now I'm going to go ahead and paste this up and then insert that in there. So I ran into another issue where this was too tight in there, and so I couldn't get the this little out out uh, couldn't get that in. So because it kept butting up uh, against the the motor there, so I had to take one of my bolts out, and I'm going to try seeing if I can screw it in this way easier. So I got it on. I let it. There's still a little give here. Um, the ceiling should tighten that up but then I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this fairly short cut it about here so I'll still have probably a good foot left on this but it gets it nice and close to the to the converter and the carburetor so I ended up cutting this hose super short you know it's gonna be pretty tight now the regulator and converter are installed with all the the new hose here for the air, this one to, to connect the two, and at this point, I've got everything attached. I had to screw in this one tightly. I've been able to keep that bar on. Uh, got this regulator screwed in nice and tight. So at this point, we should be ready to put in the, the final natural gas line, which I have over there, and then hook it up to the the pigtail out on the gas meter. Here's what I'll be connecting to the gas meter to be able to tap it 
transporter the natural gas to the generator. I've got it's a quarter quarter inch and this is a bushing uh, it's a quarter to three quarters and then it's a, an elbow that I have going into the the gas valve and this is not advised by plumbers this would not pass code but it works for just a do-it-yourself application. I just installed, installed the, the three-quarter inch mill end here and got the other one here they've got a if you look inside they've got a couple different rings in here you have to get them in the right order and then the rubber ring so you put it on there and then tighten it up so I'll put this on and then I should have my my hose in place and then I should be ready um, to get installed all right so now I have my, my elbow quarter inch with the bushing and the elbow going up to my gas ball valve and I'm going to put it in here. This is a quarter inch, goes out to three quarter inch and I also have my soapy water to be able to, to test. And I'm going to do it live. This is a 9 to 16 socket wrench and I'm going to be able to take this off and then hopefully put the other one on quickly. And it's going to leak out gas and this is dangerous so you should never do this. Licensed plumber should only do this. Alright, so now we've got that on, got the bolt off, uh, I didn't use plumber's putty and I and I should, this is a test, I'm going to see what it can do, I'm going to test and see if it uh, bubbles up, is what I'm looking for. Give it, see if this. So that definitely works. All right, so I think we've got it installed. That took all of 10 seconds. All right, so here's a quick disconnect. I've got a, it's a nipple I have on here for the, it's a three quarter inch. And directions say you should make sure you install it into where you've got your cutoff valve. All right, so it's a socket and plug combo for that quick disconnect. So I'm gonna put the other side on here. I'll get this one on tight. And we we'll, should use wrenches. We'll do that afterwards. And then we'll, this one will go on the other side. And then the other, and we'll go into the generator. All right. All right, so taking off that cap and it says on this rubber seat is located in the vapor inlet to the regulator and so we need to push it in. The hose has now been connected to the generator. We've got the other side, we're ready to hook it up. Alright, now it's the hookup. Should be in, should be in nice and snug. We'll turn the gas on, do some more testing with our spray. Alright, so we put a bunch of stuff on. Didn't smell anything. Testing on this end. Smell some of that uh, soap, but nothing else. All right, we're gonna try and crank it up, see if it works. All right, 